Yeah, we back. Now, I'm thinking about starting a new series where I talk about real life events, right? I'm not saying that I'm going to become a channel that's delivering the news like CNN. Nah, but when I see a news article, when I see a story that I think, you know, we can talk about that we can learn from. And also we can talk about the reality of what's going on out here in these streets, because y'all might not know this, but I don't watch TV. I might listen to podcasts on YouTube, things like that. But really, I don't really indulge in television, you know, TV shows, movies. I don't really get into that. But a habit of mine, something that I do do for entertainment. I know it sounds crazy. I like to go to the county clerk's office website for different states, different counties across the country. And I like to just go through the arrest records, you know, read the criminal affidavits, see what people out here getting arrested for. That's kind of a source of entertainment for me. You know, I know that might sound crazy to some, but just because it's actually really happening and it gives you an idea of the world that you live in. Right. And I'll say this right now. Listen, the world is a crazy place. It's a depressing place and it's full of people with mental issues but let's get into it man in this story we're gonna talk about a black father kicked his son out the house and then his son came back and tried to take his life let's get into it man of course this happened in no other state but the good old state of florida now let's get into it a man was arrested saturday for attempting to kill his father deputies say palm beach sheriff's office responded to a shooting on october 1st Upon arrival, they found the victim who stated that he was riding his bicycle on 3rd Street when he noticed his son, We Can Leap Felix, I know he Haitian, and two people on the side of the road. When he rode past them, he heard gunshots and started to pedal faster, which caused him to fall off the bike. In the arrest report, the victim stated that when he looked back, he witnessed his son shooting at him. Officers canvassed the area and found Felix sitting in the front yard of a house about 20 yards from where the shell casings were found. Felix was detained and transported to the Boynton Beach Police Department. In a sworn statement, the victim told deputies that he does not let his son live with him because he doesn't want to work or go to school. About a month ago, Felix tried to live with him and he would not allow it. And ever since then, they've been arguing. The victim said two weeks prior, they got into an argument that almost turned physical. One day before this incident, September 30th, Felix came to his house and refused to leave, which led the victim to call the police. The victim believes that Felix tried to kill him because he called the police on him the day before. Detectives found 26 shell casings at the scene, examined a bullet that hit the bike, and interviewed another witness who said after the shooting, Felix ran into a house to wash his hands. Felix was charged with attempted first degree murder. Now, let's get into this story, man. Now, why did this story stick out to me to where I would like to cover it on my channel? Number one, I can understand what the son is going through. No, I've never tried to take my father's life and never will I and never have I even thought about it. But when the father said that due to the fact that his son does not want to attend college or find a job, he cannot live at the family house. Listen, this is a rule. This is something that is very common, especially amongst black immigrant households, right? If you're not going to school to become, you know, a doctor, lawyer, whatever that may be, some high powered profession, if you're not working a job contributing to the household, you can't live at the household. Let me tell you this, bro. I moved out the crib around the age of 21 years old, right? And the story of how I moved out the crib was similar to how this dude right here, we can leave Felix, he's going at it with his pops because I guess, you know, he does he doesn't want to go to college or whatever. I was going through a similar thing with my pops, right? I I had my own online business popping. I was making enough money to where I could be sitting in class and I could bust down like a $400 sale right in the middle of class. Like I'm on my laptop in class, making sales, making money, making hundreds of dollars in the middle of economics class, right? So after a while, I was like, man, I want to just, I want to just invest all my time, energy, and resources into building my business, right? I don't really want to be sitting up in class doing homework and school projects and things like that. I just want to go all in on my business, right? And I remember I came to my father about this because at the time, they didn't really know what I was doing. You know, they didn't really understand the concept of an online business. They didn't really understand how that works. You know, they're from the old school. They're from, you know, the brick and mortar, you know, the brick and mortar days, you know, things like that. They didn't really understand the digital entrepreneurship wave, right? So I went to my father and I was like, yo, pops, man, I'm trying to go all in on my business. You know, I could show you my, my sales record. I could show you my chart for the month. You know, I'm out here getting to it and I want to just go all in. So my father, you know, he wasn't trying to hear that, man. He wasn't trying to hear it. 
I remember he called my mom upstairs and then they all sat me down and my pops was like, oh man, all the money I didn't invest it, all these thousands of dollars in private school. You talking about you're not going to school. What? You know what I'm saying? He was not trying to hear it, bro. He was not trying to hear it. And I thought that he would be more understanding if I showed him, you know, the sales chart. And, and if I explained to him my business model, I thought that he would be more understanding, but he was not trying to hear it, bro. And over the next few weeks, things got very tense in the household, right? To one point, it actually got physical, right? I didn't throw the punch. Actually, my pops was the one that swung on me. And after he swung on me, right? So, you know, at this point, I'm young. I'm making money, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm making like, I'm making money for a dude my age, right? And I'm making the money independently. So I'm feeling myself, right? So I'm like, man, who you, like, man, who, don't, don't touch me, man. Like in my head, I didn't say that. But in my mind, I'm like, man, who you touching, bro? Like, like I, I really get money, like, bro, like I don't gotta be here. You know what I'm saying? So me, right after that, I started looking up apartments. I started looking up, you know, I'm trying to find my own spot, right? Because I know that I can't really live under here peacefully, right? Without going to school, without, so I already knew. So me, I started looking for a place to stay. As soon as I found my own spot and got it locked in, which I was able to do pretty quickly. At first, what I did was I booked the Airbnb for a few weeks until I could get into my spot, right? I wrote a note, I printed up a note to my parents, basically telling them, listen, I'm about to do my own thing. You know, I got my own spot. If y'all wanna reach out to me, it is what it is. And me and my pops after that, we didn't speak for about a year, right? We didn't speak for about a year until I had like a medical emergency and I ended up in the emergency room and then he showed up and then we've been cool ever since. But I say that to say this, listen, this is just a common thing in black immigrant households right in i would assume african households caribbean households you can't be at the crib unless you're going to school and pursuing higher education and unfortunately for the young homie instead of finding a hustle about himself instead of finding something to do he was emotionally frustrated i don't know i guess he was homeless i don't know what he was doing i don't know where he was staying but his father was riding a bike down the road and he decided to empty the clip on his pops that's that's insanity you know that's insanity that's not how you get revenge on your pops you get revenge on your pops by showing him i'm gonna move out the crib not only am i gonna move out the crib but i'm gonna be able to sustain myself independently and after that guess what bro once they see that you're able to stand on your own two feet with or without school with or without a degree they're gonna respect it they're gonna respect it especially if you did it independently right you were entrepreneur you started your own thing they're gonna respect it bro they're gonna be like man how you do it after a while, my pops actually sat me down and was like, and guess what? My pops is a businessman in his own right. He's an entrepreneur in his own right. But then one day he actually sat me down and we spoke for hours on my business model, right? He wanted to know, how'd you do it? How'd you start it? You know, because my pops went into business for himself at a late age, you know, into way into his 40s. I went into business for myself around 19, 20 years old with the internet. So different era, different time period. So he was curious. After a while, they respect it, right? They just want what's best for you. You know, they don't want to, they don't, they don't send you out and kick you out the crib just because they want to harm you or because they hate you. In fact, your parents got big dreams for you. They want you to be a successful black man or woman out in this world. And unfortunately, the young homie might not be able to realize that until he's way older. But by that time, his life is going to be over. Everything is going to pass him by. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This is a stupid decision overall, honestly, man. But yeah, yeah. So I might just start dropping in on these news articles that i find interesting it's not going to be a frequent thing plus the news is depressing man i'm not about to turn my channel into a depressing place i want my channel to be an empowering place a happy place i'm not gonna trust me it's not gonna be a frequent thing but every now and again i might come in with a news article it is what it is right anyways like share subscribe cash app in the description support the platform support the platform it's your boy nefakari desaline back in the building yes indeed and i'm gone peace Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion I left on a horse and came back in that ass And I left with abundance and came back to famine We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping Look how the mighty have fallen Used to be running, now we be walking When you be cooning, that's when they applauded Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter Gotta come up in this shit, they stuck in the mix Really, my heart, it be breaking That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business Pass it down in generation Talking about money and power and building a nation That's a deadly combination Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders Falsifying information no, they got malice intentions Step in the room and I'm feeling attention Enemy watching, he blocking my vision Get for the check cause I need my redemption Building my kingdom, I need to protect it Ready for war like a young money Congo Never decided the team is the motto Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain
ain't and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hour with it, wage. I got business. This is an art, and it can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check, and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me, and she so at least. Shorty be chosen, I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit, and you're smacking their faces.